you already know what it is, man. It's a kid, man. Mike Will made it, man. That's where this shit started at. Put a fast TV, man. Y'all gonna fuck with my dog, Little Chris, man. Little Day Weekend, man. Part two in the streets. If you ain't got that, man, you ain't no real hood of fat nigga. Bro. You know what I'm saying? What made you wanna stop dropping the CDs? Um, I had to tie this shit up. I had to tie this shit up together, man. Niggas just now realizing that was me in the background, the Gucci, Gucci freestyle and the Hood Affairs DVD back yeah. over seven, man. So all that no pad, no pencil shit. You know what I'm saying? When I had like 30, 40 songs on the mixtape shit before I started dropping like singles and shit like that, it was like everybody knew like, okay, man, Mike, Mike might have did. Oh, they might know no lie. They might know ain't no way around it. They might know way too long, but they don't know. Turn up the lights, they don't know itching, they don't know, you know what I'm saying, B.O.B., so they don't know to tie it all together, so I just was really trying to tie it all together, you know what I'm saying, make it all make sense, really, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So right now you just named a couple of the hot singles you got out there in the streets. Yeah. Just any any new shit that you could expose that you got in the yeah, works got, right um, now. Man, if you if you go check out this mixtape, there's a record on there with Jeremiah, which is actually his official next single, you know what I'm saying? It's called 773 Love. And I got Brandy's next single too. It's called Do You Know, you know what I'm saying? Um, shit, what else can I say? I got um I can't really talk too much about the shit, you know what I'm saying? But right. me and Future back in the studio, me and Gucci back in the studio. I got Gucci next shit with Future called Fuck the World, you know what I'm saying? Um, me and Future got some bangers on the way. Um, and shit, man, we just working, man. You know, I ain't going nowhere, man. I'm, I'm gonna stay on Hood Affairs TV, so I'm gonna keep updating y'all with all this shit. As soon as I can talk about it, I'm on this motherfucker, man. Y'all know what's going on, man, since 07. All right, so right now you just named like a couple of R&B tracks right now. Mm -hmm. You probably been doing the R&B track, but the, the success of the you know the couple hits that you got out right now make the make, make the people make start come start coming at you for the R&B track. Want to yeah. see what else you got in the tank? Yeah, um, really that's that's what it is, man. He really explained it. You know what I'm saying? Like like with all the with all the joints that's out. You know what I'm saying? People starting to respect the sound because I really brought a whole new sound. You know what I'm saying? Which really changed the whole sound of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Rap and down south music, you feel me? So like, same with the R&B shit, just train setting, you know what I'm saying? Not really following anybody, you know what I'm saying? Not, not trying to copy anybody or anything like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Like when, when I turn on the R&B record, like I, I really be producing records instead of just making beats, you know what I'm saying? So like when, when, I'm, in the I'm, when I'm in the studio producing the record and shit and showing the artists like, yo, you can fuck with the record this way, that way, this way, you know what I'm saying? Showing the different ways to flip it, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, okay, okay, cool. And it's just bringing a whole new sound. So, Hopefully the R&B shit works out as good as the rap shit has been working out. I remember there was a time when you used to shoot the records out to a nigga. Yeah. When, when, when did it start changing? Will you actually go? I mean, I know you've been fucking with Gucci and been in the lab with some niggas, but when did that like change for you? I mean, I, I really think, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, even as growing as a man, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, one, one day you're going, like, like, if you go look at the old hood affairs, DVDs I had on the 6X black tee, extra for loose sure. collar, you know what I'm saying? Sure, Baggy ass sure. jeans, you know what I'm saying? Now, you know what I'm saying? Shirt got them squeezing my gut and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So for it's sure. like, you know what I'm saying? It's all about maturity, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like you can't you can't even know just you can't even know how to produce a record until you do all them days, you know what I'm saying? I, I remember I remember the days in Mom Duke's basement, man, making three, five beats a day, and running to the studio with Gucci out here, giving them a CD with 20 beats, you know what I'm saying? For sure. And then, like, just in there working, you know what I'm saying? I feel like my job is to bring the best out of all artists, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, okay, I started understanding the artists, understanding the songs, understanding the sound structure, understanding everything, you know what I'm saying, about a record versus just making the beat, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, okay, I gotta start, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was bringing a new sound, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna just give it to somebody and then somebody might hear it and be like, like, ain't no way around it. Future heard that beat and he was like, man, I don't really, I don't really fuck with it like that. You know what I'm saying? And I kept, I kept forcing it on him and he finally fucked with it and it, it was a classic. It was a classic for the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that, that's the most important thing when you bring a new sound and you have an idea and a vision as a producer of how you want the record to go. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to start, you know what I'm saying? Voicing it. You know what I'm saying? Because your opinion counts. You know what I'm saying? As a creator too. So, how, how do you uh, find your sound? Cause like, 
without your tag on it, like with a, a regular nigga like no, that that's a Mike Will joint, cause you, you done went like in different uh, ranges right now. Not really, cause even when it started, like niggas knew I made, I smoked Kush, but they didn't know I made Just Another Day in East Atlanta 6, you know what I'm saying? Right. And they didn't know I made the freestyle beat, that Gucci freestyle beat, yeah. so everything always sounds different, you know what I'm saying? Like I always, I, I don't really like repetitive shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That shit that sounds the same. Like that's one of my pet peeves, like when I'm, when I'm talking and having a conversation, I don't really like talking about the same shit over and over and over. You know what I'm saying? My girl will tell you, like, I'll be getting mad as fuck at her. You know what I'm saying? She want to keep talking about the same thing. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, even with music, you know what I'm saying? It's the same shit. Like, I always want to hear a change. You know what I'm saying? Like, different shit coming on. Sounding different. Like, I want to I wanna turn on the lights to be even bigger than no lie. Even though I knew no, number, no lie was going to be big. You know what I'm saying? It, it made number one that turn the lights is uh, even. It shows like even more creativity, you know what I'm saying? So like, it, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing as everything else that I got coming, coming really, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I mean, I guess I really just like change and diversity. That's what's up. Uh, you know, you doing the beats, but you got the air drummer's production. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what the stuff with the air drummer's production. Man, I got, I got the air drummer's production, you know what I'm saying? It's really, really, like, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much building the team, you know what I'm saying? And, and, like, and like expanding the sound, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in the air drummer's production, you know what I'm saying? It's like. Everybody in the eardrum production and the eardrum movement is like, man, anybody with the next level ear, you know what I'm saying? Like back in 07, if you listen to um, Guapaholics, you know what I'm saying? Superstar Jay Quirk was hosting it. And he was like, yo, shout out to Mike Will, eardrums. You know what I'm saying? Back then it was a one man band, you know what I'm saying? I was on the eardrum. But, but right, now right. I'm building on to my team and expanding the sound, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in my circle is a fucking genius, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in my circle is a genius, you know what I'm saying? So that's what eardrums is, you know what I'm saying? Anybody the next level here. So right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm building my squad. Every producer I got on my team is, you know what I'm saying? Fucking geniuses, Einstein's, and you know what I'm saying? Just really getting them to start understanding the sound structure, to put songs together and all that. So then it'll be about five or six of us just walking around here, making sure music sounds the right way. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's what it is. You know, we salute you, my nigga. We done, we done seen the growth. Like, we done seen a lot of niggas grow firsthand. So it's good to see that, my nigga. So, you know, we on deck. Well, well, I appreciate that, man. Hunter Fresh TV, man. Michael made it, man. Eardrummer CEO, man. Y'all motherfuckers stay tuned.